The cord is a two-wire, 18-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing one half of the rear handle. Now remove the screw that secures the switch. I'll pull the switch away from the housing. This style of switch uses a connector called a trap door. To remove the wires, I'll use a T-pin, insert it next to the wire, that will release the connector, and then I can pull away the wire. And now I can remove the cord. And I'll remove the strain relief from the cord. Now I can install the new cord. First, I'll need to prep the wires. I'll start by stripping back about a quarter inch of insulation from each one. I'll twist the strands. Now I need to tin the wires, that is to apply a little bit of solder to each wire to make it solid so I can insert it into the switch. The first step in tinning is to apply a little flux to each of the wires. This will make the solder flow easier. I have a small vise I'll use to secure the wire. This will make it a little easier to solder. I'll heat the wire and then apply the solder. And now the other wire. I'll reinstall the strain relief. And I'll reinstall the strain relief and cord into the housing. To install the wires into the switch, I just simply push them into the connectors. Then I'll reinstall the switch into the housing, secure it with the screw, and I'll make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the handle. And now you can replace the cord in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.